There's a lot of witchcraft that's happened in modern Disney, and there's a lot of Satanism. The show project centered around a teenage girl having a one-night stand with the devil and getting pregnant as a result. And if people stop going to Disney or subscribing to Disney+, Plus, uh, maybe they change course, uh, or at least reverse course a little bit here. On December 5th of 1986, President Ronald Reagan proclaimed that day as Walt Disney Recognition Day, acknowledging the gifted animator and businessman as someone who, quote, never lost touch with his child's heart and sense of wonder, end quote. Today, would that warm and generous man we all came to know as Uncle Walt even recognize the company, the same company that as of this year announced that it has approved a new Disney Plus show about a teenage girl being impregnated by Satan. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. When Walt Disney discussed the goals of Disney production projects in 1966, no one could have predicted that executives today, with the company that bears his name, would have approved a show project centered around a teenage girl having a one-night stand with the devil and getting pregnant as a result. CEO Bob Iger, who once said, we're not going to make everyone happy all the time during a town hall meeting with employees, knows there's a challenge of keeping the original wholesome ideas of the past and balancing the content ideas of today throughout the company. I'm proud of the fact that, and particularly in today's world, that we bring so much goodness to the world. Mm -hmm. I think there's never been a time when people have needed entertainment more or stories that, that enlighten them, make them feel good about the world themselves. The project is called Pauline. The show follows the life of an 18-year-old girl who accidentally becomes pregnant from a one-night stand with a guy named Lucas who turns out to be the devil himself, a concept penned by the same production team behind Netflix's How to Sell Drugs Online Fast and an idea that has parental groups up in arms. They're trying to protect their children's innocence. Let's not push this in our children's faces or in my child's face. And if people stop going to Disney or subscribing to Disney Plus, uh, maybe they change course uh, or at least reverse course a little bit here. Of course, it's not the first time Disney has introduced a satanic themed project. In 2022, the company aired a show with a mature rating called Little Demon. Some are putting this off. Your dad is the devil and you're the Antichrist. I'm supposed to accept that you had sex with Satan? Disney's streaming operation has lost a combined $11 billion since the company introduced Disney Plus in 2019. If it hasn't even started production yet, maybe that's an indication that Disney's idea of Pauline will be shelved, a goal Walt Disney himself might have approved. Mm -mm. Lots to unpack there, and I'm glad we're joined by minister and author Sean Bowles, the host of the Sean Bowles Show right here on TBN. Sean, thanks for joining us. John, so glad to be here and talking about this subject. Well, this project was announced a while back, and Centerpoint actually reached out to Disney to find out if they were in pre-production of this show or script approval or any of that. They didn't get back with us, but you have friends and you know insiders with Disney. And my first question to you, Sean, why such a big push of pushing uh, the darkness about Satan and the occult and witchcraft? Why is there such a love for that topic? You know, there's just specialty interest groups that work within Disney that care about these kinds of subjects, like Little Devil that you showed there earlier. It's just there's something going on with Disney and the people who are in the arts community. The arts community has turned very into a graphically satanic community right now. Not all of them, but you watch this in the music industry. You're watching it in a lot of the themes that have come out in recent Disney movies. You're watching them take even Splash Mountain. They're, they're giving nods to Tiana, which if you look at Tiana – and her movie and uh, just that, that incredible voodoo segment where it's all real voodoo practices that are put into Tiana's movie. There's a lot of witchcraft that's happened in modern Disney and there's a lot of Satanism and we're watching it again and they're, they're getting in trouble for it. There's, it's causing satanic panic. That's why it hasn't come out yet because they hit so much with Little Devil. They pushed this project and pushed this project and delayed it just like Balenciaga's documentary that they're doing, many of you didn't know that, they've delayed Balenciaga's documentary because of all the you know, child porn and this kind of stuff, that this panic that happened. And Disney's making some bad choices and we're starting to see the decline. I mean, we see the park numbers are at a, a record low right now. 
We're seeing Disney's stock prices at a record low. And what I love about that, I hate that for Disney because I really love what Disney used to be. But what I love about that is it's showing you not just Christian America, but mainstream America has had enough. Well, I'm glad you brought that up about the decline. A lot of Christians are having a tough time because, like you said, what Disney used to be. A lot of people are trying to find that balance, Sean, of still trying to support Disney, or maybe they're not, and we see that decline. But all of a sudden, if you don't support Disney, well, what about ESPN? What about Hulu? What about National Geographic or GoPro or Photo Bucket or Radio Disney or the Marvel uh, movies or Star Wars? All of that encompasses the Disney name. So does that mean we stop following all of that as Christians, or is there a balance? No, I think we look at the direct things that are having direct effect on us. And we like Disney Plus as a service is not safe for your kids. There's so many shows on there, including The Simpsons, which has been a long running show, one of the longest running shows. It's kind of American memorabilia now is, is The Simpsons. But it has so many dark themes. If you have little kids, it's hard to raise them watching The Simpsons, even though it's not made for them. That's what a lot of people who watch it are little kids, because the attitudes uh, actually come into the culture of your family and cause like rebellion that cause desensitization towards parents and parental authority, these kinds of things. So that Disney Plus is filled with projects that are not their A-plus projects. And unfortunately, those are the kinds of things we have to boycott. Well, Sean Boltz, our time went too quickly here. We're going to uh, get you back on. We'll follow up on this topic because it's a hot topic. And uh, we'll see the developments of what Walt Disney decides to do with that. Sean, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.